Hi students, welcome to my YouTube channel Engineering Graphics. I am Dr. Vinod Kumar, adjunct professor in Cochin University of Science and Technology, Kerala. This video, Development of Surfaces 5, deals with or discusses the development of a cone. A cone 50 mm diameter, 60 mm axis is standing on its base here. First of all, I am going to draw its development. Then I will cut by different types of cutting planes and show the changes that occur or happen in the development. To draw the development of surface of this cone, you need the true length of the generator. You know O dash A dash is a generator, O dash G dash is a generator. In the inversion, you are showing two generators. Agreed? And O dash A dash is a true length and O dash G dash also is a true length. Take this true length in your compass. Choose a point O anywhere. Choose a point O anywhere. Draw an arc. Hi students, welcome to my YouTube channel Engineering Graphics. I am Dr. Vinod Kumar, adjunct professor in Cochin University of Science and Technology, Kochi, Kerala. In this video, DS5, we discuss a cone and its development. Here is a cone 50 mm diameter, 60 mm axis, standing on its base on HP. I will first of all draw its total development. Then I will cut it by different types of cutting planes and show the differences that come on the development. To draw its development, you need the true length of the generator. I have actually shown all the generators in the elevation. When you draw them in the plan, they will be like this. They are drawn very lightly, all the generators in the plan and elevation. O dash A dash is the true length of the generator and O dash G dash also is the true length. Those are the true length available in the view. In the plan, none of the generators are true length. In the elevation, all other generators are shown but they are, of, they are not of true length. Only these two are true length. O dash A dash, O dash G dash, Matre, true length of generator are present. Take O dash A dash in your compass. Choose O anywhere and draw an arc. Draw an arc. With what distance? True length of generator. Agreed? True length of generator. Now, if you want, you can close this calculating the angle it is substituting there. What is theta? Theta equals 360 into 360 into radius by generator true length. If L is the generator true length. L equal to true length of generator. This is available. There. You can calculate theta. And if you calculate theta, you can close. Close this up. But if you do that, if the value of theta is not easily divisible, why divisible into 12? Easily divisible into 12. You have taken 12 generators. So if this arc is, the theta of the arc is found out, and if you close it, the arc theta may not be easily divisible into 12. The angle may not be easily divisible into 12. Suppose you get 103 degrees. How will you divide 103 into 12 equal parts? It will be a problem. Agreed? But if theta is easily divisible, it is okay. You can close it and then with the help of your protractor kept at the center O, you can divide this into 12 equal parts of the corresponding degrees each. It may not be easily divisible. So what you have to do? Draw the arc. Don't close it. Take this code in your divider, which divider? Small divider which can be moved by rotating the wheel. Take that divider, take this distance, be very careful, check it with the adjacent codes 
and then place it how many times? 12 times. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, A. Connect them. Reproduce all the generators here. Since I am not following dimensions, there will be naturally differences, which will not come when you use proper instruments. Now, you extend any one of the generator, I extend, I extend OH. You extend any one, draw a circle touching it. And mark the subsequent points on the circle. Which is, which is this? This is G. So this is G, this is F, this is E, this is D, this is C, this is B, this is A. This is I, this is J, this is K, this is L. This is the center of the base. You have got the total development of the cord. Now, this is cut by the first cutting plane, which is parallel to HP by setting the axis. BT. How many generators it cut? Cut all the 12 generators. You can mark them 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash, 4 dash, 5 dash, 6 dash, 7 dash, 8 dash, 9 dash, 10 dash, 11 dash, 12 dash. I am not doing that. I am not doing that because. What difference does it bring in this? Take O dash, 1 dash in your compass and simply draw an arc with your compass. That's all. This is 1, this is 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1. Isn't it? It's an arc with the compass. You can mark all the points if you want. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1. Darken the portion below the cutting plane. Darken the portion below the cutting plane. Keep this line. Keep this line. This is the development of the truncated cone. What do you mean by truncated cone? Truncated cone means cut cone. Usually the word truncated is used to represent cutting parallel to the base. A cut cone and truncated cone are usually different. Truncated usually represents a cutting plane which is parallel to the ground. Agreed? A cut cone can be of a cut cone means it can be cut by any type of cutting line. A truncate can also be a cut cone, but a cut cone usually is represented as a not as a truncated cone. Truncated cone is parallel to H. So this is a truncated cone. Plan elevation and the development of the truncated cone. In the second cutting line, in the second cutting line, which is parallel to HP bisecting the axis. Parallel to HP bisecting the axis. You have to draw the cutting plane passing through the center of the axis, making what angle is 40 degrees, 40 degrees to HP. So where will you draw it? You will draw it in the elevation. You will draw the cutting plane in the elevation. I am going to draw it. This is the center of the axis. Draw the cutting plane VT. Similar cutting plane we are drawn in section of solids and we are drawn the sectional plan, true shape and uh, sectional plan, sectional elevation and true shape. Here we are drawing the drawing only the development, that's all the difference. How many generators it cut? Cut all in the 12 generators. 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash, 4 dash, 5 dash, 6 dash, 7 dash, 8 dash, 9 dash, 10 dash, 11 dash, 12 dash. Where is 1? 1 is on OA. So take this distance O1 dash, O dash 1 dash and mark here, you get 1 and here also you have to mark because there is 1 OA here, 1 OA there, so 1, 1. What about 2 dash, 3 dash, 4 dash, etc. They are on generators but they are not on generator representing true length. That means they cannot be directly transferred because all these generators here are true length. You would have gone the generators in true length. If you have a generator, you can draw the two lengths. If you have a one dash and seven dash, you can draw the two lengths. If you have a one dash, you draw horizontal lines and go to the two lengths. Draw horizontal lines and go to the two lengths. I have drawn a horizontal line to two dash, two dash. 
I have drawn a horizontal line through 2 dash 12 dash. So this is called 2 1 dash, 12 1 dash, 3 1 dash, 11 1 dash, 4 1 dash, 10 1 dash, 3, I mean 5 1 dash, 9 1 dash, and 6 1 dash. 7 dash is already one full length. Take these distances and mark. I take O dash, 2 1 dash. I will mark here to get 2 and mark here to get 12. Agreed? I write here O2 equals O dash 2 1 dash from true line. Okay. Take O dash 3 1 dash and mark here and mark here to get 11. O3 equals O dash 3 1 dash from true line. Take O dash 4 1 dash and mark here. What do you get? And mark here. What do you get? This is 10. This is 4. O4 equals O dash 4 1 dash from true line. Take O dash 5 1 dash. O dash 5 1 dash. I get 5. I get 9. O5 equals O dash 5 1 dash from true line. Take 6 dash as well as 8 dash. 6 8. O6 equals O dash 6 1 dash from true length. 7 dash is already on true length. So mark it 7. Connect these points by a smooth curve. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1. What do you get? You get a smooth curve like this. What is this? This is the development of the cut cone. You can darken the portion below the cutting line and keep the top part light. This question is very very important. It has come numerous times for various examinations. The only thing to remember is you have to take distances only from true length, not from other generators because other generators are not representing true length. Here all generators are true length. So go horizontally, draw lines parallel to the base, draw lines parallel to the base, go to the true length of the generator and take that distance and mark. This can be drawn very fast, not as difficult as it appears initially. So this is what you call as second most important cutting plane. In the third cutting plane, the question says it passes through the apex. Marking 75 degrees to HP, Vt. Passes through the apex, making 75 degrees to HP. How many generators it cut? It cut the base at 1 dash, apex at 2 dash, base again at 3 dash. Only 3 points. 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash. Where is 1? Drop it down. This is 1, this is 3, this is 2. 1, 2, 3 is the plan, you know. We need not draw the plan here, but I am just saying. Where is 1? One? 1 is on the way from B to C. 1 is on the way from B to C. 1. 1 is on the way from B to C. 1. 3 is on the way from K to L. 3 is on the way from K to L. 3. K to L. 3. Connect 1 and 3 by a straight line in this. 1 and 3 by a straight line. 2. Apex. That is O. 1 to 2. Straight line. 2 to 3. Straight line. One to two, two to three, and one to three. Very very simple. Very very simple. Such a question I don't expect for your university examination. This is what you call as uh, third cutting plane. This is the third cutting plane. Okay.